What is an interactive streaming series and how will our audience interact with it? An interactive streaming series, simply put, is the next evolution of interactive television. What we're bringing to the fundamentals that were created for, say, Telltale Games or Netflix's Bandersnatch are a few things. One, community. All of the users, all of the viewers will interact with our series simultaneously. They will be influencing a continuously unfolding story canon that they all experience together. Everyone sees the same thing. Everyone participates in the same decisions. And when those decisions are made, that's canon for everyone. You can't go play on a different server and see something else happen. You can't roll back and try again. The entire community is causing the story to change over time with their decisions. That's the next uh, evolution of what it means to have interactive entertainment is that it's not just an individual experiencing a story, but I'm experiencing a story with all of my friends. And we can talk about it and we can debate it, we can disagree, we can agree, and we can come together and try to bring other people with us to shape the story of what's going to happen. And because we want to reward people who are there for the live story events, but not punish the people and exclude the people who weren't able to be there live, we also have to do something with our narrative design that's not really been done before, where we have the decisions that are being made remain open for a day, a week, so that everyone can participate. The premise of Silent Hill Ascension is to take the promise of the original Silent Hill and the kind of the brilliant mythology they've developed of how somebody's individual trauma and unresolved issues can become very real threats and monsters that can hurt you. What we want to do is to take that premise and look at it across a broader lens. So we're going to more global locations and we're looking deeper at how those relationships may be impacted by this trauma. So if I have unresolved trauma, how does that affect not only me, but the people around me? How does it infect the community? And if it stays unresolved, how might it affect my descendants if I, if I never actually face it? One of the things that we're introducing in um, this Silent Hill is the idea of collective delusion. So this is not just localized to one person. An entire town is experiencing this shared delusion, which means that things could be real, things could be a figment of their imagination. They really don't know. And we're kind of playing with that idea within the narrative. I think what's really critical here is looking at the psychological trauma, and the psychological history of the characters, because so much of what was built in the original Silent Hill was about how these people's anxieties and unresolved issues became expressed and manifest in the world as very real threats. And so part of what we want to do is to give that same uh, suspense and bring that into the storytelling for Silent Hill Ascension. So the most important thing for me was to make these characters relatable to the audience. So the audience cares about them and wants to see them redeemed. When we're doing character development, these are really flawed, broken people. These are people who've been through trauma. These are people who've traumatized others and they're working through that. Audience members actually get a chance to help arc these characters. They have a chance to help redeem these characters or push them deeper into their trauma. And there's something really powerful about that. But in order to do that, we have to make the audience be able to understand why they did the things that they did. Silent Hill is, is a beautiful but disturbing meditation on our human experience of trauma, guilt, and fear, and how difficult it is to work our way through that. How we can easily get lost in it, lost in the fog of our own trauma, not being able to move past it, to be haunted by what has happened to us and what we've done. In terms of the visual design for this project, Bad Robot has an absolutely incredible uh, art direction team. And I think they really understand the heartbeat of the franchise and what fans expect in the design for creatures. The creature designs are heavily inspired by the core traumas. And we have chosen to emphasize the trauma between all of our characters as a collective whole. Violence, domination, and obsession. The creatures in Silent Hill are often projections from the minds of the major characters. The nature and the appearance of these creatures are also linked to their surroundings, which at times can create an incredibly horrifying visual contrast. The whole idea of Silent Hill Ascension was perfect for me. When I first got spoken to about it by Stefan, I thought this, this, this would be perfect actually, because um, I almost feel like I've been living in Silent Hill for quite a number of years. It's, I've lived a very surreal world. 
The work of Akira Yamaoka in the original score was definitely a great inspiration. Uh, fantastic mood setting, the world, what world am I in? And, and, and just sort of like setting the guidelines for the inescapable sadness and the inescapable beauty, but also horror. One of the things that I think fans are going to really appreciate about this project is we're really trying to be good stewards uh, with this franchise. We really want to honor the things that fans fell in love with in the first place. They were telling amazing, really bold stories with limited hardware uh, at a time when no one else was doing that. And we want to carry that same spirit of boldness with this project. At its heart, Silent Hill Ascension is a mystery. I think that's one of the things that we really wanted to preserve um, in terms of the Silent Hill franchise, is that when you meet a character, you don't know why they're there, necessarily. They're lost in the fog. They're being stalked by creatures. Why? What brought them there? What did they do? What happened to them? What did they experience? And those, it's that mystery of those characters that we carry throughout the entire season and watch uh, that mystery unravel, discover who these characters really are. And it's not always what you think.